Okay, so we are hunting a freighter that's somewhere in this area to the north of us. Uh, let's see. That, um, speed. We're working at full speed, 28 kilometers per hour. Should be able to catch him if he's in front of us. How far away, we don't know. It's 11.30 at night, so visibility is not the best. He's up there looking at that stuff, though, right? So I have people looking for him. Just have to find him. Yeah, uh, group observation range is only two kilometers. One point five kilometers. That's nothing. Only it's less than a mile. Dark. Can't go in, we can go underwater and use the sonar, but that slows us down. So, don't know. We suspect he's going up to this port here. We just don't know which way he's going to go to get there. I'm going to guess he's going to probably go that way. Yes, we have to submerge and reuse it effectively. We know that. Much faster. Captain, we're at periscope depth. Ready for surface observation. Switch to electric motors. Got nothing. Slow down. Just a little bit. Dead slow ahead. Slow ahead. What was that noise for? We got a target. Okay, it's still 10 to 20 kilometers, moving away. It's still in front of us, so he's headed that way. So he's probably going to go around this way. He may not be going here, he may be going fast, but that doesn't make a lot of sense of it. And then back around that way. We're coming in through this way. This doesn't look like he's going to try navigating there. At least so far, it doesn't look that way. So let's keep going this way. Blow the tanks. Current depth five meters. Okay, need some more compressed air. Captain? Who's missing from the town? Stations are empty. So the farming it's okay. A 
Affirmative. Okay, so we should be was it off to the left, right? If he's in range. I don't think he is. Are you moving? That's not quite the moment. Flank ahead. I bet they don't run around with their searchlights on all the time. <laughs> Easier to see. It looks like he might be moving on because I'm moving along here, coming into the port either from up here or... I don't think he's going to try to navigate through here with a freighter, I think. Make a big old turn. Torpedo and tube one maintained. Almost midnight. And we're going to 33 kilometers approximately, 34. Torpedo and tube three maintained. Freighters I don't think move that fast. It's not for any, any real particular reason other than to outrun us up that they don't know this chase in them. Torpedo and tube two maintained. Torpedo and tube four maintained. Okay, at twelve thirty we'll take another peek down below and see what we can hear. Torpedo and tube five maintained. Torpedo and tube one maintained. Snuff. Ah, there we go. Merchant ship, 355 degrees. Maintained. Alarm, take your position. Torpedo and tube two maintained. Okay, so. Remember your training, everyone. Stay calm and focused. Torpedo and tube Oh, they can see us. That's okay. Because he's right there. Okay then. Uh, can we communicate with them? Greater similar to Empire Explorer. Wow, that came out of nowhere, didn't it? Communicate that you intend to sink the ship. After your crew sends a light signals that you are going to sink the ship, a commotion is quickly seen on the deck. Crew is leaving the ship. Good. Directions nearby. Well, I guess we don't have to waste torpedoes on these guys. It's so dark. All 
Battle engine stop. Okay, life at one and twos. Uh, power up freighter, click to interact. Send the team to the freighter. Sure, why not? Who wants to go? Um, let's, um, Winter. Right. Uh, do we have to send officers? Not the radio guy, though. Second in command will stay. Where the delegation travels to the destination, you can leave the screen at any time until the wait is over. It's over now, then. Deck out. Who are you guys? Should we shoot you? The office. I'm not sure what the point of doing this is. We're supposed to be clicking on stuff? Like a adventure type game? Uh, we don't have anybody with We do have demolition charges. We do. Search the cargo. How long is this going to take? Maybe lives not answer. We like to save them, but we want to save officers first, right? Lifeboat number two. Or is that number two we just took the to to? That guy, that guy, that guy. Only one officer? Doing even five for now. The other guys can, you know, survive. They'll be fine. Gets the honor of. Oh no, we're not back from the ship yet. How long does that take? There's the cargo. Performance is slow. No, oh, that's why it's taking so long. <sighs> Hoping they have something good in here. Like, you know, smuggled gold or something. Uh, this is Gimpy's back. I'll let me talk to her. Be back in a minute.
Okay, I'm back temporary. We'll see. So anyway, so they were transporting medkits. We'll see how many we can grab. Oh, it's going to take an hour to transport those. We can't compress time from here. Can't do this. Mm. Oh well. We can't expect it over the ship. Could send a report. Which is uh, off duty for an hour, but we're gonna skip the wait time. Report set. Back the stuff up. Ventilation system. Oh, we didn't turn off that gun. Oh, we're kind of out of food. We went through food pretty quickly here. We haven't been out that long, have we? Or is just. Oh, maybe this is just. A, no, wait a minute. This isn't right. Oh, because here's our store. This is our food here. The most they can have is five in a stack. Okay, we're done. Okay, so time to sink. Time to sink the boat. Again, job is to sink the ships. Steal their stuff and sink the ships. Seems like we might be a little close. Dead slow astern. Done shooting now. Visibility 10% of your ship in the current environment. Hull, exhaust, time of day, cloudiness, noisy. It's kind of, kind of noisy. Estimated accuracy is 82% from this from this distance. How bad of a shot do you have to be to miss at this distance? 
two non-moving targets. You're not... Wow, he actually put that in the water, didn't he? What the hell? Take out the lifeboat. This is going well. Yeah. Yeah, we can move on with our lives now. So I gotta report this sinking. Oh, wreckage we get to interact with? Oh, that's right, the more stuff floating on the water we can't really take. Probably. Report set. No, we already rescued some of our placement parts. Which, hmm. Of this five stuff. We're not going to have room for this fish, are we? That yummy canned fish. fish. You have room for it. You want to start moving and placing some of storage. Yes. Oh, that's right. The fish stuff is on the deck. Yeah. Three whole fish. Yeah, so we can resume our operations. Back down this way. And put us back on schedule. This way we are above surface at night and below surface most of the day. Half ahead. Halfway there on the planet, it's the same though. Okay. 
Okay. Faster. Faster. Alarm canceled. No more alarm. Let everybody rest. If we detected as the one we sunk. Oops. Set. Torpedo in tube five maintain. Torpedo in tube one maintain. Set a course to these coordinates. Torpedo in tube three maintain. Torpedo in tube two maintain. Torpedo in tube four maintain. Okay, so one more ship to sink, do a little patrol. One more kilometers, we have a lot of kilometers. Just even that is what? It's 2,000. Five o'clock in the morning. It's o'clock. Seven o'clock, we should be. Captain, we've risen to the surface. Under surface. So, now we do our Captain, little routine of. See if we can hear anybody. Oh, look. Lucky. Medium bearing 249, so that's kind of away from us. It's 270. So right around here. I'm not sorry, it's bearing to us. Oh, is that right? Oh, because it's. Where's he going? We don't know. Change course. Turn our air filtration. I don't know why they. Why doesn't the air filtration come on automatically? Why do I have to turn it on manually? What are your orders, Captain? Hmm. Yes, turn sir. on the ventilation. I mean, why would you turn this on automatically when you submerged? as quietly as possible and to conserve oxygen by avoiding necessary actions. Yeah, good. Still pretty far away, 50 to 80 kilometers. And our schedule for the day on the boat. So underwater between seven and 10 o'clock in the morning. We go to surface for an hour to recharge batteries, that kind of thing. And we go underwater for four more hours from 11 to 2. Or sorry, 11 to 3. And we're underwater or up at surface you for did an it hour. Wrong. And then underwater for three this more hours you do it. until 7 o'clock at night. And then we go Warg. on surface for the all, all night. Please excuse me. That was embarrassing. I meant to say. Jag. <laughs> Seven o'clock. Current depth ten meters. Such a radio guy. Since we're under Handle underwater, we're supposed to be listening for stuff so we can keep better eyes on these guys. Torpedo and tube one maintain. So we don't have a bearing on him yet. Or sorry, his uh, heading. Is he moving away? Is he moving to us? Torpedo in tube five maintain. Change course. I know, but if we cheat and do a right yeah. click onto him, we know which way he's headed. What's <laughs> this? Picked up back to radio transmission nearby. Sign a radio man officer to radio room to receive it. We have somebody there already. Not what this guy's doing. And the radio 
Oh, it's below water. But this will get us to uh, surface, sort of, and uh, the antenna will work. He sucks. There. It's how come we're not getting a message that we're supposed to get? Trying to receive a message. That light speed thing. Waiting here patiently for the message. We've just to received a new message from headquarters. U-45 has gone missing. Its projected position at the time of communication uh, stop is Square AN-228. Please investigate before 18th October 1939. Four. Contact after the map. Fine. Trying to sink a ship. Oh, so that's where we're supposed to go. Before when? We have three days. Set a course to these coordinates. Periscope deck. Yep, still maintain schedule. We'll see if we can find the sunken boat. Change course. Captain, we're at periscope depth, ready for surface observation. I need some help here. We'll do, Captain. Follow me. Yes, sir. Blow the tanks. Captain, we've course, risen to Captain. the surface. That time of the day. It's depletion, so that's what, 20% to go? 20, and we've got uh, 20 minutes before we come back up, right? Come back up until three. No time yet. One so that means we have to surface. We've been going up and down too much. Blow the tanks. Switch to diesel engines. Not order. 
tires are. What do we need? Battery needs time to charge. Compressed air that reserves are low, so diesel compressor. Almost good. So, how do you charge the battery? <laughs> Got a torpedo there. Change battery. You could always uh, send it, send it an invoice. Ch charge. Oh, I see what you're saying. Charging the battery, just send it an invoice to pay its bills, right? It's not quite what I meant. Torpedo and tube three maintained. It could go a little bit slower here. Half ahead. Yeah. Torpedo and tube two maintained. You have no reputation. Progress to gain the next Torpedo reputation two, point. Currently is 45%. You e. could run it at Torpedo high two, speed. We don't want to run it at high speed, though. Torpedo and tube five maintained. Torpedo and tube three maintained. Find the lost boat. Torpedo and tube two maintained. I'm guessing I'm just exploring through here, right? Because we don't know where it is. Change course. Torpedo and tube four maintained. Torpedo and tube one maintained. Battery's almost charged, so we're going to go back to schedule. Periscope depth. Captain, we're at periscope depth. Ready for surface observation. Can't you stick a generator in your boat and attach it to the diesel engine? Um, I think the diesel engine is the generator. Captain, man the listening room. Because this is the diesel engine in here. This is the engine here. And I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. That might be the battery. This is the battery that goes away when we zoom in too much. And these are our air compressors, electric and gas, or diesel. So, but again, I think this is the battery stuff, I think.
Now we're underwater, so this is the battery is doing the thing. We can have air quality. be underwater for a little while, so. Two o'clock in the afternoon yet, so. New objective. Investigate the boat. Set a course to these coordinates. Too far. Submarine. Zero degrees. Captain, this seems to be the missing U-boat that we were tasked to locate. So it's not sunk. Dead slow ahead. All engines stop. Oops. Oops. Is that all you can say? That was really poorly done. Yeah. It's fine. Investigate the boat. So how do we investigate the boat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 45 is floating on the surface without the living soul on its deck. Inspections from your boat makes it clear that the boat sustained major damage. It remains a mystery, though, that what happened to the crew and why the enemy left it in such a state while at sea. Send the team. Yeah. You're too tired, slackers. Oh, I could have sent sailors. Whoops. English soldier. When the Germans uh, fired their artillery to cover, when we fired our artillery, we fired our artillery, the Germans took cover. When the Americans fired their artillery, everyone took cover. What are you trying to say? Team cautiously boarded U 45, reporting that they cannot hear any sounds from the inside the ship. What do you want to do? Investigate. At least it's nice and rainy and stuff, so we're not exactly sitting ducks over here. Victory through superior firepower, of course. Keep shooting until everyone's dead. That way you don't have to worry about uh, fighting again. Sink the boat. Uh, Emil uh, went to the conning tower and carefully opened the closed hatch, then quickly ran to the batteries on the conning tower, a little choking. Uh, he reported that inside are the corpses of sailors and dried blood flowing out of their eyes and lips. Uh-oh. Emila had no doubt. The boat was damaged by a mine which led to the flooding of the batteries on the boat, which in turn released chlorine gas and resulted in the death of the entire crew. So now we have to sink it. So is everybody not bad? Okay, everybody's here. Be you get the honors. Fourteen shots left. Hey, is this kind of sinking a boat? Now it does say enemy trade ships. Oh well.
Well, that was easy. Okay, then. So, uh, time to return. Are we already on schedule? Almost four o'clock. Is this? Did he say? Inspection required. Skipper, our boat was recently damaged by the enemy. <laughs> Maybe some damage to the boat of which we are not aware. You can assign an engineer or a radio man to the command station inside the control room, along with a few sailors, to perform a full check of the boat. Please note that the command station is available only. Uh, if there is an active alarm on the ship, to toggle alarm only the telegraph. Open the telegraph uh, F4 and click on the button that says Octoon. So, Command station is only available during the... Well, that seems kind of goofy, doesn't it? So now we have to have an engineer. Engineer upstairs. Files. Or oh, it's the con tower. Where's the Command station. You can assign an engineer or radio man to the command station inside the control room. This is the control room, right? Now there's the command station. No benefits. Assigned sailors search for hidden flaws, damage done to the internal device. It is so reduced by 10%. Doesn't look like he's doing anything. How do we know that he's? How do we know that he's doing something? He's just standing there. Damage control office current. Okay, supervising damage control. That's pretty good supervision there. He will spend send sailors assigned to him to look for hidden stuff. Two sailors due to keeping devices in a good condition through regular maintenance. Stuff, stuff. So he's got two sailors doing that stuff. How long does this take? I'm guessing we're done. Room cancel. Let's uh, go back to our schedule. We're on schedule. the hell's going on? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. No idea what's happening there. Set a course to these coordinates. Change course. No idea what happened. 
Anyway. Full ahead. I actually recruit. Slow it. ahead. Half ahead. Okay, because we're cruising. Oh, maybe ship detected. Oh, is that the sinking one? We're not, we don't have anything detected. Yeah, it's a submarine that's sinking. Okay. Torpedo and tube five maintain. Periscope depth. Captain, we're at periscope depth. Ready for surface observations. Torpedo and tube three maintain. Torpedo and tube two maintain. Or clock, are we supposed to be on surface? Oh, sorry, yeah, we're supposed to be diving at 4 o'clock until uh, 7 o'clock. Okay. So we still have to sink one more ship that unfortunately we had to bail on because of the stupid sub that was a bunch of dead people on it. Yeah, we got time, we got lots of fuel. We'll get on food too for a while. 15 meters. Torpedo and Captain, we're at periscope depth, ready for surface observation. Captain, we've risen to the surface. Hey, bag of water, it is time to take a break. Go stretch your legs. Night time. This break supports the purchase of Rocket's treats. If you would like to help Rocket feel like a puppy again, please visit gimpyneecom slash support or type exclamation point treats in chat. Thank you. What's that showing up? Four. Your next break is in one hour. Oh, the name of the segment. Get me out there. Anyway, so what we'll do, I'm going to take a break. You get up, stretch my legs, go talk to Mrs. Gimpy, see what Rock, how Rocket's doing now. He should be much better now that she's back. So, I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.